Hey everyone, this is Josh Carney. I'm a recording engineer, musician, producer, and songwriter. In this course, I'll cover the fundamentals of mixing and mastering in Studio One Five. So I'll cover how to use the mixer, setting levels, bus and VCA channels, how to use EQ, compression, and other dynamics effectively, how to use effects channels and time-based effects, things like reverb, delays, choruses, modulation effects, how to mix vocals, guitar, bass, and drums, and I'll also demonstrate how to use offline and real-time automation. In addition, I'll also demonstrate the fundamentals of how to master your tracks using Studio One's project page, which allows you to master a single song or multiple songs, like an EP or an album. For this course, I'm using the Mac OS version of Studio One 5, but I'll try to mention both the Mac and PC shortcuts along the way. I'll demonstrate a few different musical examples throughout the course, but mainly I'll be doing a full start to finish mix and master of the song Back by Sophia Veraz. Now that's just a teaser of the song fully mixed. For this course, I'm gonna start completely from scratch. So in a lot of cases, you might have a client that recorded their song in a completely different DAW. So what I like to do is get unprocessed multi-tracks or stems from the artist so that I don't have to deal with any MIDI or software instruments and I can start from scratch with my own EQ, compression, and other effects. So just the raw audio tracks. An easy way to import multiple audio tracks or stems is to go up to Song and select Import File, or you can press Shift-Command-O or Shift-Control-O on a PC. In this folder, I have my multi-tracks for this entire song, so I'll just select all and then click Open. It's also important to know the original tempo of the song. In my case, it's 70 BPM. One, this will allow me to align things to the grid in case I need to do any additional editing to the track while I'm mixing, and it'll also allow me to synchronize certain time-based effects like delays, for example, to musical deviations like eighth notes, quarter notes, etc. You can resize your track headers here. You can also resize them vertically here, and you can double-click to rename them. And you can reorder tracks just by simply clicking and dragging a track header to a new location. So off screen, I renamed each of the tracks and reordered them in a more logical fashion. So up top here, I have the lead vocals for the verse, then I have some stacked vocals for the chorus, guitar DI, bass DI, a vocal sample effect, a synthesizer pad, some snaps and tambourine, a reverse cymbal effect, and then down at the bottom, I have a bunch of channels of live drums. Another thing that helps with organization is creating folders for some instruments, particularly instruments that are in a group or are like instruments. So this will be perfect for my multi-track drums. So with all of these drum tracks selected, I'll right click and I'll select pack folder. And as you can see, it places all of the drum tracks in this folder. If I want to edit them individually, I can just double click to open the folder and double click again to collapse the folder. I'll just rename this folder drums and then with all of the drum tracks and the drum folder selected, I'll click here to change the track color of everything in the folder. So I'll go with uh, blue for all of these. Up top here, there's a bunch of stacked vocals as well. I'll put these in a folder just like I did with the drums. I'll just call this chorus vocals. And then I'll do the same as I did before. I'll just recolor all of these to a common color here. If I click the I button up here, this will hide and show the inspector. You can also hide and show this by pressing function F4. And when you select an individual track, you can control things like the volume, mute, solo, arm for recording, input monitoring, adding inserts for effects, and adding sends. But when you select a folder, you don't get these options. For example, what if I wanted to pull the volume of my entire vocal folder up and down, or maybe I wanted to adjust 
the volume or add effects for my entire drum folder. All you have to do is click on this menu that says none and select the option that says add bus channel. Now I can have grouped control of all of my drums. I can adjust the volume of all of them, mute them, solo them, add insert effects and add sends for all of the tracks in that folder. I'll do the same for my stacked vocals up here as well. In the next video, I'll give you an overview of the mixer in Studio One.